So if you decided to take a look at the advanced version, and well, it's not really that advanced, it just requires that we think a bit more about what we're doing. Because all of this removal, almost every single one of them, is unnecessary. Because if we look at the code here, when we start over, and now it has progress at 3, and when we remove that, we have progress at 2. So we actually only need to remove progress at 3 when we go to 2. And when we go to 1, we just need to remove 2. We don't need to remove all the rest of them. So then say, okay, but where? Now that we add the 2, how do we get the 3 that we should remove? Well, that was actually up here. We had 3 points. Then we subtract 1. And then we use that as the class to add. We could also use before we subtract a point, we could use it to remove the other one. So if we have three points, we then remove progress at three, subtract one, end up with two, and add progress at two. So let's see how that works. If I go here, progress at three, I'm at four, so I'm removing four, removing three, Removing two, removing one, adding one, adding two, adding... You know what? I'm going to do the same up here. So, before I'm incrementing the points, I'm going to remove the old progress that was there. So when I click, I have three, a four, five, six, seven, and I can go down. In. So this works perfectly. Removing the last one we had before changing the variable and then adding the new one and doing it the same way when we go up in points and when we go down. So that's, that's all there is to the advanced version.